Who was the first motherfucker that called you in jail and said, hey, man, Soldier Boy from the set? My, my older <laughs> homie, Puka. And was serious. Nah, he told me, uh, I don't need. I don't you didn't get a vote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just. You didn't get a vote? Nah, I wouldn't. He said, nah. He said, nah. nah. <laughs> yeah, man. Soldier from the hood, man. Yeah. He told me that nigga from the hood. He told me when I was in town. He told me blood from the set. Right. That's hard. If you ask me, that's no, good branding. Because <laughs> I mean, but motherfuckers be trying to say, you know, because Soldier Boy is Soldier Boy, but Soldier Boy, I'm like, I be telling motherfuckers, like, nah, Soldier Boy, he. <laughs> do, you, do you know what events led up to Soldier Boy feeling like that was the move? Like, you think anything in particular happened to him? Or? I just think, uh, you know, when artists come to LA, you know, and, you know, a lot of stuff can happen to you if you're not a part of somebody. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all I think it is. Because people don't say that when they join H shit. Other people are like, yeah, nigga, that's the homie, nigga. Why y'all mad? <laughs> now we got niggas that already, oh, y'all some bitch ass niggas letting them niggas do that. Yeah, oh, but when wait. you got the phone call, was it like, hey, leave blood alone? Or, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, just so you know, blood doing this. So you won't have nothing really to say. I mean, I didn't get what you were saying. I mean, because, you know, I mean, because, you know, if you would have got out, you'd be like, Soldier Boy ain't really from, he ain't from the oh, set. Blood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So was that phone call like, nah, Blood really from, he, we doing the thing. So when you get out, you know. I mean, it's like, 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 like niggas was telling, telling people back then, like, we, we really fuck with our older homies. So we like listening to the older homies. Whatever the older homies say, we going to take heed to it, follow yeah. suit with that. Uh, like they like they stopped a lot of wars like we could have had with other niggas because they said don't because they know our our generation just like they used to be is we don't give a fuck we just go at anybody like nigga let's go up but the older homies you know they saying hey nigga but then they could tell us when to go you know what i'm saying so but sometimes we if we know they trying to manipulate something we won't listen to it but most of the time they they, they only you know what i'm saying they tell us the right shit so we, oh, we that's it. Because I don't know if you know this, but he was the one who had Tiger out here banging the orange rag for a while. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> why you put that on me, man? The fans <laughs> watch it. The fans watch it. Yeah, nigga, they, 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 they gonna call. They gonna Rico me as the G homie. I didn't do shit. That's the homie. That's the homie. Nah, I don't know that nigga no more. I don't know. That didn't work out so well in the long run. I don't know. I mean, oh, shit. he said it didn't work out so well, Laura. I mean, me, they're bro. not in communication now. From what I, I mean, know. cause yeah, and too, you know the homie's saying that. Then you got the video with the boy going over there, and then he trying to shake one of the homies' hand, and they like, oh, nigga, what's happening? And then you know, you weren't there for that video. No, I wasn't there. That's a that's a classic right there. Man, yeah, I wasn't there that's for a that. Classic. That's really Why a they classic. do the boy like that when the homies like? Hey, don't no, me. because you, 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 you as y'all can see, uh, you know, kind of part of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what was really going on right there. Just like Soldier Boy and Chris Brown shit. And then it was getting over getting to it over a girl or some shit. That's really what that was. That is a pretty crazy scenario. That they both joined this gang later in life that's and then crazy. ended up having this conflict with each other within that. That's crazy. That's not something that happens too often. Females stare it all up though. Mm. Yeah, basically. For everything, man. But it's still the man's the fault females. to even go go along with the shits, you know right. what I'm saying? It's still, it's still a man fault to, to, to try to press the issue on the shit. Nigga, I've been around you. Some pussy. Yeah. I've been around you niggas for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? Chill yeah, the homies, You know what I'm saying? I've been around niggas for a long time. Like, and then for, you know, Chris and Soldier to be doing that, I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? The industry is wild. But see, the <laughs> dudes, you, the niggas you wild. fucking with, you know? Yeah. You're the ones who wrote the, wrote the, you know, wrote that. You know what I'm saying? Put mm. that in the hood. Bam, bam, bam. But that, that is the question, though, is if you are a rapper who finds himself in a certain level of status and respect and everything, and you kind of need some level of protection, would your advice to a, a rapper who finds himself in that position be to, like, formally, publicly join a hood? Or would it be to just fuck with who you fuck with, maybe because they're going to protect you in certain situations? Like, Cause that I don't feel like it's that popular for dudes to like start officially claiming something later on these days. But I think once you fuck with any gang, they gonna try to do that anyway. You, I don't think you can't be around no gang if you got a certain type of notoriety and they don't want that from you. You know what I'm saying? You don't think that the six nine thing kind of put a little tarnish on that whole it idea? It did, but that was not over there. really. Yeah, that was that's <laughs> what they were saying. That was over there. We wouldn't let that happen over here because a lot of people wouldn't let. They feel like they wouldn't let them get that deep. Mm. You don't think 6 9 would have found a hood that would have welcomed him in out here? 
If he had just It wouldn't have been no Compton hoods, no Watts hoods, no LA hoods. It would have to been some hoods far out. We had to go to the valley. Not saying nothing about them though, but I'm just saying for for that to, to even like happen like that, it wouldn't couldn't have been no. I don't know, man. He was yeah. pretty hot. Like his shit was going crazy. I bet somebody would have been like, you know what? He was at the top of the world. He was at the top of the world. I mean, I mean, you can never say never, man. Shit, man. It's a lot of shit going on out here, man. It's a lot mm. of shit. So you really don't know. So it probably could have happened. So yeah, before this, before the snitch allegation thing. Yeah, like, yeah before that. Anybody before probably would have. Oh, yeah, 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 before the snitch allegation. After the snitch, no, shit. ain't nobody fucking with him. But before the end, probably gang niggas would fuck with him. I heard, yeah, the, uh, yeah. I heard y'all was fucking with him. <laughs> I'm, I'm a high as shit because I remember that halfway through. I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was riding with him. I mean, the nigga, I'm like, who you riding with? But that's different like, because he's right. already. He that's like yeah. him partnering for protection in a different place away from home when that's he's all already in a game. We understood mm-hmm. that, though. It's Fruit Town Power Rivers. We understood that. Huh. Oh, okay. Man, you Power Room niggas always got somebody, though. You know what I'm saying? We, I told you, Power Rules are hard recruiters, man. <laughs> we, recruit, we recruit hard, man. Come on, we recruit bro. Hard. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. But, okay, I, I always wanted to ask somebody this from where you're from is I fuck with my homie, Zach, who does FTP. And every we time we love them clothes. Okay, okay, we you love do. that brand. Because every time That's I rock it, brand. somebody asks me like, "Yo, what's, what's that?" Like, if they don't know what it is, they're like, "What's that?" I'm like, "It's fuck, fuck the police, police, fuck the population." Mm-hmm. It's yeah, whatever. You know, gotta give them a little explanation. Mm-hmm. So you be rocking that shit? You like it? I, I haven't bought it yet, but I I, I love the brand though. Mm-hmm. Once I seen it, I was like, I need that. I need that. I need to find a lot of little shit that I like though, because I don't think I really found nothing like that. I really because I'm really like I like like. Squizzy looking type shit. So I seen a lot of regular looking shit, but Adam they, got the plug. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty I'll, sure I'll that the exclusive him. shit is better yeah, than, the than the shit I seen. I'm pretty sure. But Dude, they just I did, love the brand. They just put out a skate video. We went to the premiere. It's crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I seen that shit look crazy. He's doing doing that brand right. Yeah, yeah, man. Support to that brand, man. Support to them, man. We was at the beach and the Hell dude put yeah. up an IA. Remember they had the FTP on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I be seeing people with certain shit that I want, yeah, but yeah. I, when I go look for it, I don't see it. <laughs> like, yeah. what, what I'm surprised y'all ain't yeah. have that already. Huh. That's what I was saying. That's I feel like, like I kind of feel like they robbed us after I supported them, <laughs> but I was like, I'm gonna still support them, but we didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? They but did it's it funny because it just popped in my head. First, I was like, oh, he should totally use you for a photo shoot, and then I was like. Maybe he definitely shouldn't. Because, like, if he were to, you know, should. like, it's like, oh, make, you tie him to it. If you yeah, tie yeah, yourself tie in it. a little, yeah. I, I feel like he would probably want to avoid that. I feel he would fuck with you as a mm-hmm. person for sure. But, like, I don't know. That might be. Yeah, just on the gang aspect, no. You feel me? But as a person aspect, yeah. 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 That's crazy. Nah, that should have been hard. That'd be dope. That'd be real dope. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.